really use the fitted sheet on that. I didn't even use a fitted sheet on the uh, cows. It's like really raining outside. Where is, uh, where did Kitty go? I'm sure he's really wondering. Is he where I think he is? Uh, he was trying to go out the front door, but I had to shoot him back in here. I'm sure he's probably hiding somewhere from everything. He's eating like all the time. Oh, there he is. Yeah, this guy tried camping in your living room. This is a pallet, it's a hundred dollar comforter on top of a bunch of blankets. Oh, there he is. Okay. Kitty? Okay. You're okay, Kitty? Just making sure. Hello? 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 All right. 79 degrees Fahrenheit, 212,452 miles on the odometer. It's April 28th of 2024, moving day. So we're keeping the vlogs, minimum transition, and we're off to delivery eventually. Still getting moved in. First one, 527.1.4. Five forty three one point six. 
And I just now learned that Garfield the movie is coming out. I wonder if he eats lasagna in it. Talking to the guy about the Mike Tyson fight. He keeps up with the Mavericks. Mavericks lost, but the Rangers won. I said uh, Mike Tyson basically trained Jake Paul pretty much because Jake Paul and Mike Tyson know each other, even though they're acting like they're acting like they're enemies, but they they actually know each other. Um, I think I, I go back to the stats. I want to say Jake Paul is nine one and zero. He lost to Tommy Fury. I guess Tommy Fury was kind of a boxer. He mostly fights, Jake Paul fights MMA guys. He doesn't really fight boxers. But Tyson's a boxer. I think Tyson's won like 40 odd fights, mostly knockouts or more than that. Tyson's won a lot. Um, mostly all knockouts within the first round, a lot of them. Uh, but he, we, we, you know, cause we were talking about sports. I, I don't really keep up with them, but I might might try to make the Tyson fight, at least the outside of it. If I can get in, it could change the stats. I might try to risk it, it'll be risky. Sometimes you gotta take a risk, try to get up close to the ring. Yeah, you're gonna have to have thousands of dollars to get that close though, to get ringside tickets. You'd have to be, you'd have to be a star, you never know. All right, Tyson's 50 and six, so 44 knockouts. So out of the the 50 fights, he knocked him 44. He knocked out 44 people out of the 50, and he lost six times. Don't know about draws. Jake Paul's nine one and zero, so he's got nine, lost one. So you know. So Jake Paul's 27 years old and Mike Tyson's 57, so we'll see. Tyson hadn't fought in a couple of years, really. They look like they're trying to get him there. 57's old, though. 60's really, 60's like, you know, so you qualify for a lot of stuff at 60. If you make it to 60 and you're already indoors, you're pretty good for, you know, probably okay, you know. So, as long as you stay away from the strong stuff because you qualify for all the you know retirement retiree you're actually officially retired i think it's 65 that's when your senior citizen is 65 so he's got a little bit of time but he's getting close 57 is pretty old to be boxing but not too bad about seven years older than me he'll probably try and knock him out in the first round because you know he just doesn't want to go the whole round I gotta tell you the funniest thing in the world. Jim Carrey walking around a grocery store. It's back in the day when he was, no one knew who he was really. Living color days probably. And he he takes a, a bite of this grape and then looks around and then he, he, he goes over to a plum and, and takes a bite of the plum. And then uh, and then he goes and he, it's just like half a watermelon. So it's like a watermelon split too. He just picks it up and just starts, you know, doing the, Miss Piggy, right on the watermelon. <laughs> he's, he's got watermelon juice all over his face and he's walking around. Then he starts doing some kind of kick around a meter, one of those parking meter things with a hat. It's a kind of dance routine. It starts off with him turning this little arrow thing. You know, this arrow turns and he has this... <laughs> switches and he's at the grocery store in the produce section. Here's another, another funny thing that's on uh, Facebook TV or whatever. These cats are jumping up on this uh, what's it called?
treadmill. Yeah, these cats jump up on this electric treadmill and they're just like, they're all fluffy and they're running around. That's probably the funniest thing, one of the funniest, is cats are just, they're all over the, the social network. All right, 6393, 1.2, it's a two-parter. Put on the soundtrack to School of Rock. A rock got no reason. Rock had no time. You better get me to school on time. If you want to be the teacher's pet, hey, you better forget. Cause rock has no reason, rock has no rhyme. You better get me to school on time. They're from California. Believe it or not, it's got a pretty good soundtrack. Uh, the Doors is in it, Touch Me, uh, babe, is in it. Um, but I don't know if it's completely in the movie. I think the kid just plays a, a lick on the, uh, on the keyboard. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night stay these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. All right, 749.11.5.
Alright, 806, 12, 4.4.